Hey, how you do there? Joel Littenbach here. So, uh, airplane is almost done with the annual. This is the first annual that I've gotten done on this since I've owned it. Just had a fresh annual when I bought it here basically a year ago. Meaning an annual, right? <laughs> All right, so this is a Cessna. The model number is a P172D. It's a 1963. Um, so this has the GO 300, so it has a gear, a gear reduction drive. They run a continent, it's a continental engine, a O 300, a 300 cubic inch, six cylinder. They run at a higher RPM than a standard O 300. So that's why there's a gearbox on here to drop that uh, propeller down to basically 2400 RPMs. So on the first annual, you never know what you're gonna find. And this one, we actually had some cylinder issues. So there was three cylinders that got pulled, uh, these two here and then one on the other side. Um, both of those, uh, the cylinder on the other side had uh, just some light scoring on it. These two had some valve issues, um, had to replace one valve and then uh, both valve guides are bad. So those got replaced and then um, while we had those off, uh, the hanger that I'm in doesn't have any heat. So I kind of wanted to do a preheater. So I started researching to see what kind of a preheater system I should put on it. And, and uh, a lot of people had a lot of good things to say about the Tannis. So I looked them up and studied them. I, I had to study everything to figure out why they say that they're really good. So and then draw my own conclusion. So it's kind of interesting what Tannis does is they run a, a, a heating element or a probe on every cylinder head. So there's six of those. And those just go in, um, they, it's just like a, a, a quarter inch bolt fastener. So that goes in in place of a uh, rocker cover bolt or if, they, if you can go into the uh, intake uh, some of these engines have, a, um, I think that's the preferred uh, place to go. If you have uh, four bolts holding that in, they use that. This application, that didn't work, so we went right into a rocker cover. Um, normally, they'll put them right down here on the bottom, but there's absolutely nothing in behind that. That's all hollow on these cylinders. Uh, some of the bigger Continentals and the Lycomings um, going in like... Uh, right into the head where the intake valve is. That's all solid aluminum, so that would be the perfect place to go. Uh, this one here, you can see we had to, they supply these uh, aluminum spacers in there. Uh, they don't want any more than um, three threads showing on the back side. So I had to space those up just a little bit. So it's all about dew point. They want if if one part of the it's the, the you want the moisture is going to settle on the coldest part of the engine, so you heat everything up where you don't want the moisture to sit, and it's not going to sit there. So Tannis starts heating up the heads, moves in. There's a heating element here on the block. Uh, the mechanic put these up a little closer to the front to get heat up into the uh, into the gearbox. Uh, where normally that would sit right on the, kind of basically in the center, of course. And then there's uh, another heating element down on the other side below the oil level line. So this heats up, this heats up before the oil starts going, and then there's no place for moisture to sit in the head. There's another company, they, they put that, like bands around here, but they can't get that, that heat out into the heads from what I, what I can tell. So this is a pretty neat, pretty nifty deal how they do that. And then uh, the wiring harness looked pretty decent. Uh, you did a nice job, just a uh, single point. Really nice wiring harness. Um, yeah, they did a nice job, I'm pretty happy with it. So we'll see, I hope it, uh, I'm really happy with it. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> anyway, I think it'll work great. Um, a lot of, lot of uh, testimonials on that. Um, what else did we find? On the landing gear, let's see. I'll show you the, land, the type of landing gear. 
So this is like that leaf spring, leaf spring style landing gear. Okay, well there's U-bolts right down into here. And that, uh, each spring goes up into the, a gearbox. There's one bolt all the way up at the inboard side, goes down and keeps that gear leg from coming out. But on the outside, there's this U-bolt that keeps that spring from rattling. The gearbox in there holds it in place, but this U-bolt was broken. Look at that. Silly things. Both of them were broke. Now Cessna has a, has a uh, maintenance um, letter on that. It was put out in 1978, I think. SE 7868, I believe is what it is. And uh, so they want these replaced every thousand hours. And I looked through the, the log book, I don't see anywhere where those have been replaced. And the airframe has 2,700 hours on it, so um, kind of interesting. Uh, McFarland Aviation has these U-bolts now. They've got a, a, a new design. Apparently they break, right? So someone built an, a new one. But for one bolt, it's like 480 bucks. So basically a thousand bucks to get two of those shipped in. And I, I had to laugh because on that maintenance letter from Cessna back in 78, they said, you can buy replacements for like 1095. <laughs> Aviation, it's awesome, right? So anyway, we're getting really close. Pretty well everything's wrapped up. Uh, we're gonna wait for some little warmer temperatures to to fly this ambient temperature outside uh, today at the high of minus 10. So we're gonna wait for that to warm up just a little bit, I guess, and uh, hopefully give it a rip after that and then get back to getting some flying videos. Man, we've been down a long time, so I can't hardly wait. So until next time, adios, we'll see you later.